Weird things happen to us as we get older. Weird things, man. And I'm not just talking about hair growing on your ears and stuff like that for for the guys, right? <laughs> I'm not just talking about like the caterpillar eyebrows that start happening in your 40s. Right? I'm talking about more than that, right? Almost every one of us, there's a few exceptions, I'm sure, but almost every one of us, something happens as we get older that happens to just about everybody. And it's, we become more risk averse. We become less willing to take chances. We become less willing to go out on a limb. We become less willing to do things that are dangerous, right? Whether it's financially dangerous or whether it's physically dangerous, right? We drive a little slower, <laughs> right? We don't spend as much time at the casino if we do happen to buy, be close to one, right? These types of things, as we become older, we just become more reserved. We become more conservative when it, when it comes to risk. But there's an unfortunate byproduct of that. There's an unfortunate side effect to that. And that is, not only do we become less willing to take chances with things like driving and riding motorcycles and skydiving, you know, but we also become less willing to take chances when it comes to doing new things, starting that new business, starting that new endeavor, starting that new exercise routine, right? Anything that's outside of something we've done routinely over and over and over and over and over again, we have trepidation about. It's natural. It's normal. But when you're younger, you just kind of, you either don't think about it at all or you just go, eh, why not? Let's give it a shot, right? That characteristic can serve you as you get older, if you can recognize that we naturally become more risk averse and then just resist that tendency, just decide to go for it, just decide to take some chances, calculated chances. Now, don't be stupid. I'm talking about, you know, recognizing that, hey, if I've never done this before, I could screw it up. But if it works out, man, wouldn't it be awesome? And one of the ways that we can do that is to, number one, recognize when you're in analysis paralysis, right? Recognize when you're just not taking any action because you're afraid the action you take might be the wrong one. And just go for it. Just go for it. Try it. Now, obviously, not at your physical peril or your financial ruin. Okay, let's not get out of hand here. But get out of your comfort zone. Try new things. Make those decisions. Make some choices. You know, just go for it. Just do it. Maybe it doesn't work out. But maybe it does, right? Which brings me to my last point, which is... If you're going to ask yourself questions in your own head, right, and you're in that space between your ears, right, if you're going to spend some time in there, ask yourself the right questions. The right question is not, what if it doesn't work out? The right question is, what if it does? <laughs> what if it does? That's called optimism, and we need more of that, especially as we get older. That's the dose. Have a great week, guys.